Okay, we're back home and we're gonna do the haul video now, show you the things that we bought. Now our first floor is kind of a combination Disney beach theme. So what better way to get a combination of Disney and beach theme than to get a Disney and beach themed, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, dust collectors, I guess. Anyways, this will go on a shelf that we have. Um, this was a bit pricey. There were two of them there. One was, I don't know, like 130 bucks. One was 75. And we weren't really sure 75, uh, I don't know. So uh, we thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. And in the end, we went ahead and uh, went with it, uh, $78. So this will be a, a nice addition. All right. Next big thing that we got was, all right, it's a beach sign and it'll hang on the wall. It can also sit on a shelf. So that'll be nice addition to the uh, first floor. It might go in the master bathroom. I'm not really sure. I haven't totally decided yet. Next thing, these are, <laughs> well, they're supposed to be Christmas tree decorations that you hang on a Christmas tree, but that, that's, not, that's not how we're gonna use them. All right, we'll just put pins in the wall and hang them on there, right? And this will be a nice addition probably for the downstairs bathroom. So we've got a palm tree, a turtle, and a starfish. And I wanted a blue dolphin, but they didn't have a blue dolphin there. Um, next up, let's show you this guy. Okay, not really the right, the correct season, but uh, for upcoming Christmas. So you got the, the um, Christmas tree kind of ornament thingy. And then it opens up and you can put something inside of it, but it's kind of got the handle on the side. So it's like a teacup. So just a whole bunch of uh, different messages there. Thought it was really cute snowman figure um, with the Disney. So that'll be nice for, you know, upcoming uh, Christmas season. Next thing we got was this. Now, this is really for cruise ships. You go on the Disney Dream, which is a cruise ship, and you would go purchase this to remember your trip. But, um, uh, you know, it's kind of a beachy ship uh, kind of theme, and it's all about Disney and your dreams. So we liked it, and uh, so we just have to find a place to put this, either uh, sit it on a shelf, maybe hang it on a wall. All right. Next up, let's grab this guy over here. All right, so again, going with the beach theme, we got kind of a turtle thing going on as well. Um, so you can see the uh, outline of a turtle on here. So uh, we like this, like the colors, like everything about it. So we have that. Um, next up is kind of to go along with the Christmas tree ornaments that aren't a Christmas tree ornament is a starfish Christmas tree ornament, okay? So this was at one point a live living starfish, <laughs> no longer. Um, and again, it won't go on a Christmas tree. It'll go, we'll hang that on a wall next to those other uh, three ornaments that we have. Next up is my wife loves Disney um, glasses uh, to drink out of. Um, if she's drinking out of a glass it's going to be a Disney glass and she used them so much they're just completely worn out so whenever we come across some Disney glasses that are reasonably priced we grab them and um, yeah and these were these were not too bad now, I got to tell you everything at this this place is um, is is priced for the collectors right so this is not a flea market you're not going to go in and find huge discounts and my son went and found a few things and came out to the car and searched on the internet and said oh I can find this cheaper someplace else well yeah you, you probably can but you're gonna have to order it from somebody on eBay and wait for it to come in or you can go into this mall and you can pick it up you can hold it you can look at it you can you can inspect it make sure it's really what you want and then make your decision if you want to buy it and you may end up paying more, you may end up paying less. It's tough to tell. When you're in the mall, um, 
my internet didn't work. None of our internet worked. So if you wanted to compare prices, yeah, uh, good luck with that. Maybe you've got a different cell carrier. I use Verizon. Uh, it didn't work. So as far as comparing prices, uh, we had to wait until we got back in the car and actually drove down the street a little ways to get a good price. Um, but regardless, uh, I've, I've said this before in these videos when you go there, this isn't a flea market. You're not going to find discount prices. This is for collectors. And generally the prices are uh, Disney products are going to be right up there. So you just have to be careful and make sure that the price is something that you're willing to pay. And in, in our case, you know, it was. So she got three glasses. Um, next thing. Um, my son came. Uh, he does pin trading at the parks. And uh, there's a lot of pins at this place. And... Uh, if you're looking for bargain pins, um, you might have, have success finding them. Like, um, shake it down there. That one, yeah, um, two dollars. Uh, you know, you can go to the internet, go to Amazon, and order a bag full of pins. And I, you know, they'll come in. They're about two bucks each. Wow, it's hot out here. If I'm sweating, I'm sorry. And um, they're about two bucks each, or whatever the case may be. Uh, the thing you got to watch out for if you're doing Disney pin trading and you're ordering off of Amazon or you're getting them off the internet is a lot of times those pins are knockoffs. They're not true Disney pins. And this, if you look at the back, probably can't see it uh, very well. Mm, it has the Disney stamp on it. So the Disney stamp saying this is a true authentic pin. So it's something you got to watch for, especially if you're in the park and you're trading. Make sure you're, you you trade an authentic pin for an authentic pin, unless you really like it. And then what's the harm? If you really like that pin, so what? So he got a huge collection here. We'll run through that. There's that. This was a buck seventy seven, two twenty nine. Uh, that doesn't say how much it was. Oh, there it is. Six dollars. Um, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh pin. So that's obviously not Disney. But he liked it. Uh, five dollars. Um, five dollars. No, it's great. He's got a job. He can, you know, he's got an outlet for spending the money that he earns on what he wants. It encourages him to uh, keep working and all that other stuff. Uh, two two dollars for that. Um, here's one. Four dollars. And. Uh, uh, eight dollars. I thought that was kind of cool. All right, and then um, two dollars and twenty-two cents, and that looks like a Star Wars symbol, if I'm correct. Um, it doesn't say, but it looks Star Wars to me, and it has the Disney stamp on the back. Okay, he's also into World War II items, and he looked around at some of the hats and the helmets and some of the other items. And um, um, he decided not to buy them there because he thought he could get them cheaper elsewhere. But he did end up getting a couple of items. And let me show you these. This one here is a World War II Army Warrant Officer Eagle pen. All right. Pretty nice right there. Okay. This next one I'm going to show you is a World War II uh, Army Metal pen. So it's the... Uh, the U.S. Army pin. All right, and hopefully they're showing up well on the camera. And this next one is the World War II U.S. Army um, General Staff Collar pin. Look at that, is that nice? Okay, that is our haul from the trip. Um, I, honestly, we've never bought this much stuff there before. Uh, so it's just fun to go and look at the stuff. Kind of like, I keep saying this, kind of like walking through a museum and seeing all the fun stuff. But uh, th this time we did buy um, a few items and um, we're happy with everything that we purchased. We're happy with all the prices that we paid and it was a great trip. So if you're ever in the mood to go out and um, take a look at some Disney um, memorabilia, some Disney um, antiques, maybe some Disney props, then head out to Lakeland 
and go to the uh, Lakeland Antique Mall. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.